If you are one of the 20,000 people who has purchased an AC1 plate carrier and you want to modify it, you want to add some stuff to it, there's this fun little adapter that you can buy from Whiskey24, uh, WTF gear. Uh, this is the Molly AC1 back panel adapter, uh, which gives you a bunch of Molly on the back side, just like the name indicates. Some little uh, Velcro or loop Velcro and some uh, elastic on the side and a loop field for flag patches. So what this does is you could drop it onto your AC1 back panel and then you can add whatever Molly pouches that you want. Now, before we get into this, it's important to note that the AC1 was originally designed as a slick plate carrier. We did not design this plate carrier, you know, going into it as a, you know, full direct action loadout with, you know, zip on back panels and molly on the rear for flashbang pouches and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, but there is a time and a place to have molly on the rear of your plate carrier, even if it's just to mount little pouches to help with organization or certain kinds of equipment, or just carrying a camelback bladder and having water um, on your plate carrier directly. So if you're not a fan of just running around with a slick rear plate carrier, uh, which I really like, really nice to sit into vehicles um, with a plate carrier that's completely slick and easier to wear underneath jackets and stuff. Um, you could purchase this little sucker and then add it to the rear of your plate carrier and you can add some extra stuff. So here's kind of how it works. We're gonna go ahead and mount it to uh, this particular AC1. So the design for this back panel is, this is going to scoop on top of the plate bag and this is going to be sitting on top of the plate bag. So what that's going to require is we actually undo the shoulder pads so that we can fit this over because the shoulder pads are gonna be fitting through here like so. So I am going to have to undo them, which is very straightforward. So then I'm gonna route these through. And there is some loop Velcro on the inside of the back panel that is going to attach to the loop field on the back of the AC1. So you just wanna get past that. And then you're gonna bring it down nice and snug so that the cap portion is fitting on the plate. So all the way to suspend it off of that. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to undo the pocket for the armor. And you're gonna take the rear panel and that's going to mate up just fine with the section here in the rear. And then this is going to tuck up underneath into the plate pocket and that's going to give it a nice tight fit. And that is going to give you, let's undo the radio, a Molly panel on the rear of the plate carrier. Now there's a couple downsides to this. Uh, one is due to the shape of this right here, there is very little Molly at the top of the panel. Uh, a little bit less than maybe your standard plate carrier out there or cry plate carrier or something like that. So you don't have six rows of molly here at the top of the panel. So when it comes to mounting something like flashbangs, if you wanted to run flashbang pouches like these uh, inexpensive Eagle pouches, these are Marine Corps issue, uh, it's really handy. Um, you can't really run a bunch of these off of the top because there isn't molly positioned here at the top where the Velcro is. You actually only have four rows of molly here at the front and then that drops down into six. So if you want to mount along the top, you can really only fit two flashbangs somewhat reasonably. I have tucked them off to the sides, starting them here, actually underneath the actual uh, panel itself, and that kind of works. And you can kind of stretch them out and get three. That's definitely something to think about if you are trying to run flashbangs. The most reasonable thing to really run off of this that I have found and that I think just from a sort of a practical standpoint is water. Uh, some sort of camelback uh, system of some kind. Um, it could be something like this pouch from Sword. Uh, this is just a really simple uh, Molly camelback pouch. And this can attach just fine here at the top. And it's about the same length as the AC1, so it's a really slick uh, format and profile. And that is just really handy. And I still have my Molly on the back for my flag patch if that I need to run one, uh, or a giant colored one maybe. If I have something outdated like this SNS, this thing's actually super cool, but I don't believe they make this anymore. Same thing, it's sort of a smaller camelback uh, form factor. Uh, I even still have some uh, space here on the side because this is a six wide, six molly row or column wide uh, panel. 
So I still have some room there on the side. I could even favor it to one side and then have two. That's nifty. Uh, one thing that I've actually used this for is uh, medical. So on this carrier right here, I have a um, SO Tech, not SOE, uh, I think it's SO Tech uh, med pouch. This can actually be retrieved from either side, which is pretty nifty. Um, it is a larger med kit, but it's also pretty flat, so sitting in a vehicle is not too bad. Uh, but then I actually have a med kit that I can get to at any time, and I'm not dedicating any space to the front of my plate carrier for medical because I have it on the rear. I'm able to keep the rear pretty flat. I have a small admin pouch here at the top, which is empty until I need to put something in it. Just because you have a pouch doesn't mean you have to put stuff in it. Um, but usually it has just like little organizational stuff because um, that's really why I run a back panel. And here's a flashbang pouch mounted to the side of the, uh, of the actual back panel itself to kind of show you guys how that works. So if you wanted to run a banger, you could. Uh, if you're like a law enforcement guy or something. Uh, this one just has one of those IWI ones, uh, which I believe people can't get anymore, which really sucks. Um, so you can just run one off of the side like that. As far as uh, mounting packs, uh, different kinds of packs that have uh, Molly, uh, such as the Haley pack, um, this actually mounts really nicely. Um, any of the shorter packs out there, uh, Twin Needle, uh, Haley, that aren't full length, uh, like a full length uh, mat pack, uh, can be mounted really nicely uh, to this adapter. This pouch, as you'll see, or this uh, backpack or back panel, um, as you will see, is pretty long. So on a standard slick plate carrier like the AC1 or something out there, um, it is going to hang down pretty far. Now, it's not necessarily the end of the world. It is just something to think about. This is not necessarily a pack that I would run on the AC1. Uh, I would run something a little bit shorter, possibly like this Haley rig, and that actually works really well. And as you'll see, can sit nice and flush with the AC1 itself. If you're really running a minimalist, maybe you're someone who likes to mount a radio on the back of your plate carrier. You want to be all uh, traditional-like. That's actually a really good use case for this back panel because you can then drop a large embitter uh, 152 radio pouch, something like this on there. And you've got some one wrap here for the you know, cabling. Uh, so you run it up to the shoulder strap and then clip into your comms. Um, and there's some elastic here on the sides as well. This is useful for camelback tubes uh, if you are running hydration uh, or radios. Otherwise, it's not really useful or that useful for anything. If you don't have a need for a specific type of loadout of pouches to go on the back of the AC1, but you want Molly there just in case, um, you can obviously just run it slick like so. And then you still have the loop field on the rear for your various patches. Or if you just want to run a big American flag, uh, you're good to go right there. I do have one recommendation. If you are uh, building this out, like initially you buy one of these, you know exactly what pouches you want to put on it, you already have them. I highly recommend assembling it before you put it on the plate carrier. It's just a lot easier than going in here and messing with the laser cut molly. Uh, you can do that. It's just easier to build it out and then just slip it onto the plate carrier after it's built. And that's really convenient. Um, that is just something that makes it a little bit easier to put together. Um, and that is one thing about this that I do like. It is one layer of squadron acronym material that is laser cut. So if you are not running pouches on there, you're not really adding any bulk to the AC1. Uh, besides some of the stuff on the sides, it's just nice and slick. And I, I, I really do like that. Um, although I am a big fan of traditional Molly that's sewn on the front. One thing you can do, and this is actually kind of nifty, is uh, if you're a Coyote Brown gang, you know, get the Coyote Brown one. Uh, we'll have Coyote Brown AC1 soon, a uh, full Coyote, you know, color. Uh, you can get the U.S. Marine Corps uh, sustainment packs. Um, I actually harvested this off of an issued AVS that I purchased. And that actually fits really nicely on top of this and then gives you the ability to put whatever you want in there. It could be a small hydration bladder. It could be just a bunch of sustainment type crap. Um, but this is actually a pretty nifty back panel solution that can give you uh, quite a bit of capability for not a ton of money. Um, so this is just another option that's kind of nifty. And that's just gonna molly on with four little rows of molly onto this just fine. All right, so I've got my plate carrier on. I wasn't gonna bore you guys with actually outfitting the back panel. I've got size medium uh, M210s in this plate carrier. So you can kind of see what it looks like on me. And uh, the back panel, I have two GP pouches, a flappy large one on the uh, top over here, and then a cry precision GP pouch here on the bottom, which is Gucci and nice. I also have this uh, smart pouch uh, right here, and there's two reasons for this. Uh, the first is I don't want to get caught in a Hatfields and McCoy situation uh, if I'm on the range. So if I've expended all my training ammunition and I'm far away from the vehicle, I still have a magazine on me. 
Um, I can get to it. It's not like a speed load uh, magazine, obviously. I've got to get the flap, you know, and then grab the magazine and throw it into the rifle. Um, but that is an option, and I can mess with that and always have a rifle magazine on me, which is uh, very convenient. And then I can just flap the pouch uh, back, and uh, I'm good to go. But the main reason I, ha I have used plate carriers with pouches on the rear of the plate carrier is not for you know, a buddy to get in there and get my like jar of peanut butter, although I have done that before. Uh, it's more for when I grab my plate carrier and go and throw it in the car, take it to the range, take it somewhere. I can have all my equipment on the plate carrier in one spot, nice and organized. And then I unload the plate carrier before I actually put it on. So the pouches are more for organization and storage and less for like an operational uh, use case. Uh, that's just how I've used back panels. Obviously there's lots of reasons to use a back panel or use different kinds of pouches. But let's face it, most of us do not have a team. Most of us do not need or aren't going to have flashbangs on the back of our plate carrier stacking up with the boys. Someone grabbing a banger off the back and chucking it into a room, probably hooking it around the corner into a crib. Um, we're not doing that. Um, the purpose for a back panel for me is either uh, water or additional equipment for organization uh, as I'm transporting my plate carrier around. That's how I use them. So right now, everything's empty. I have no reason to put anything in these pouches right now but have the ability to load them up when I need to. I hope this was interesting to you guys. This is a uh, nice little piece of equipment that you can purchase to upgrade your AC1. Uh, you could also use it on other plate carriers out there. Uh, this will work on pretty much any plate carrier out there. That is the size of a sappy uh, plate. So I'm sure this would work on a Ferro Slickster just fine. It would work on a Spiritus uh, Covert just fine. Um, it's obviously just going to attach underneath into the plate pocket and it's going to be hung off of the plate bag itself on the armor. Uh, so you can run this on all sorts of plate carriers and it can just get you a little bit further with that slick plate carrier you bought uh, who knows how long ago. Hi guys, today we're gonna to talk about the AC1 back. <laughs> Sick. I've been doing this now for like eight years and I am Burnt out. <laughs> it's been 84 years. <laughs>